Your systems are flying. Hello YouTube, this is Luke A992 doing a challenge on Zombusters. This challenge is called the Mighty M, and it involves using weapons that only begin with the letter M, which does pose a bit of a challenge, I think so. It took me a while to get this far. And these are the weapons you start off with, but uh, they luckily begin with the letter M. So you're allowed to use the M1911, the M67 grenades, and the melee knife. You yeah you start off with those M so uh, M six seven grenades so don't worry about that so you can throw grenades and you can knife and shoot the pistol as much as you want at the beginning and uh, these are the weapons throughout the level that you can buy you can buy the M sixteen but you can't upgrade it because that would make a skull crusher which begins with the letter S if you didn't know uh, the MP five K which upgrades the MP one one five collider MPL upgrades the MPL LF you can use monkey bombs M fourteen upgrades the amnesia and you can use Matryoshka dolls, which I think only come on Ascension, but uh, if you're on Ascension you can use them, because thankfully they begin with the letter M. And of the perks you can use, Mule Kick is the only one I can think of that begins with the letter M. So if there are any more guns or any more perks that I missed out, anything that begins with the letter M that I totally forgot about, please let me know, because I, <laughs> I may have missed one out, but I, I couldn't think of one. If only you could use the Mac 11, that'd be quite cool. But that's not on zombies, unfortunately. Okay, alright, this challenge, um... Well, yeah, it, it did take me a few goes to get a good level, really. Oh, here's a little, my little dance, like before. Do, 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 do. You can't not love that song. Okay. Here's where I actually start shooting things. You know, no more knifing and stuff. Yeah, the beginning to the challenge is usually just shooting the M1911, knifing, re rebuilding barriers. So I have uh, cut a few bits out of this video just to avoid the boring parts of repairing barriers. Um, but uh, you'll see my tactic in a minute, which is the tactic I use to kind of stay alive. Um, it wasn't a really original tactic. It's not, but it's not like I stole it from anywhere. So. I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Here, around round 3, I go through by the MPL, which begins with the letter M. Like every gun in this map, well, in this, in this challenge. And uh, just picking them off with headshots. Okay, on to round 4. Yeah, this isn't another live commentary, because I haven't done a live commentary yet. Just I just try and get the... I get a high... well... I try and do the challenge, and if I get far, I keep <laughs> I keep the video and do the commentary and then edit and stuff. But basically, to begin with, you start off by well, you can't get hit from behind really, so you kind of camp by the elevator, keep the MPL. Um, uh, yeah, hold on, you need to open the elevator. Yeah. Basically, you sit up here until you get overrun, and when you get overrun, you escape in the elevator. So it's quite helpful. And uh, I get overrun quite a lot, so I tend to just run away down the elevator. Oh, Kennedy's not a bad character. I think it's Kennedy that I was in this map. Sounds like Kennedy. At first, I thought it was McNamara. McNamara is not my favourite. Oh yeah, double headshot. Come on, thumbs up for double headshot with one pistol bullet, which I think defies all the laws of physics, science, uh, ballistics, pretty much any law you can think of. I think I just defied it with that headshot. I wouldn't have thought the pistol would go through two zombies, but there you go. Sorry for taking pride in an amazing shot. <coughs> I'm done now, don't worry. Amazing shot. Okay. I'm, I'm done with that now. Okay, yeah, here you can see around round five. Yeah, around yeah, around four or five ish. The zombies build up. And you want to make sure you get in the elevator before a zombie gets in there with you. Because often uh, they'll they'll get too close to you and then you'll panic and you, you won't hit the button correctly. And sometimes they'll go down in the elevator with you and that happens to me a lot and they often kill me and it looks incredibly silly okay now I'm downstairs I open up the barriers to create a circle around the um 
uh, the floor of the Pentagon. Uh, here was a bit of an accident, I didn't realise they were all on the stairs. Which is a bit of a Ricky, not Ricky, a bit of a rookie move on my part. Okay, here you can see, if you've not seen this little circle before, it's pretty simple, just kind of try not to get, you know, bottlenecked into the tight spaces. Basically just open the two outside barriers and just go and go round and round and round and round. Um, the windows do complicate it a bit because all the windows around the outside of the floor, well, the zombies can sneak up on you, they can just sort of jump through the windows and ruin your tactic completely. But it is, it's manageable. Okay, um, I kind of fixed all the quality problems from last the last time I posted a video. I posted shell shock, a shell shocked, um, just a couple of days ago, and I kind of had some quality problems, but I think I've sorted them now. If there's any problems, please post comments. I like comments. Comments are cool. They make you go hmm. Yeah, if you think I could improve the tactic, actually, if you have a better tactic for the uh, for this map, actually. Because my tactic, well, I didn't get to around 50, so my tactic must be rubbish. But generally, uh, you can see the MP5 is slowly running out of ammo. Very, very slowly. Very slowly. But you, uh, you need to start restocking up on ammo, which is why it's good to have all weapons. Um, but I don't think there are any box weapons. Yeah, I can't think of a box weapon that begins with the letter M. But, um, yeah, please let me know if there's any weapons I missed. But I had a good look and I couldn't see any on uh, the COD Wikia, which is a really good site. And very informative about zombies and COD and such. Okay. Oh, yay, insta kill. Yeah, I will try and cut out the, the repairing barriers bit. But this the circle does get a little bit repetitive, but it's always it does get tough sometimes. Because you do get crushed into corners and things. Okay, here's where I, I took the elevator up and I restored all my ammo. See so yeah, I came back upstairs because I wanted to buy MPL ammo. And basically you just start the tactic all over again, just start back by the elevator. Wait till you get overrun and then go back downstairs and start a circle. See, it's. Yeah, here I nearly missed the button and nearly got caught out. But here, you go back down. Oh, yeah, and um, Mule Kick is on 5 now, I think. But it wasn't here because I wasn't connected to the internet at this point. Well, I mean, at the time I just hadn't connected my Xbox to the Xbox Live. Um, my adapter was somewhere in the house. But. Uh, for some reason, if you're not on the internet, they don't supply you with Mule Kick, which is really annoying. But if you weren't aware, Mule Kick is now on all the maps. Yeah, after an update, but um, I couldn't get it. I really wanted to get it, but I I could have got the M14, I guess. But um, if you're asking why I'm not upgrading, even though I have about 8,000 points, um, it's just because if you turn on the power, which turns on pack a punch as well, where I mean, it, lets, it makes it possible to turn on pack a punch. I didn't want to pack a punch because the Pentagon thief comes every couple of rounds after the power's gone on, so you know, I figured I don't really have any good guns that are, that are good enough to kill the Pentagon thief, so I didn't want to start losing everything. So I decided just to keep my guns, keep restocking the ammo. Although at some point, if I got far enough and my guns were getting too useless, I'd have probably planned it. Okay, here you can see I would have gone for, uh, for Carpenter, but then I nearly got killed. So I have one rule in playing zombies, and that's never risk your life for Carpenter, because Carpenter is rubbish and it always gets me killed. More like, even like if there's an insta kill, like sitting in the corner, even if you pick it up, you can still kill all the zombies around it. But if you pick up Carpenter, you're really not helping yourself. So don't avoid it, it's just, if there's like, one zombie next to Carpenter, I wouldn't even get it. I'd just, just leave it. Ignore it. Okay, here I went back upstairs, picked up some ammo. Oh. 
I want to check how many headshots I got, because I got headshots on almost every zombie, it looks like. I mean, it's obviously not every zombie, but I get quite a lot. Okay, yeah, uh, let me know what you think of the quality and everything. Um, oh, render times, encoding times, or oh, incredibly long, but it's worth it if you get good quality. If it's not very good quality, just let me know, I'll try and sort it. Okay. Uh, and, uh, like last time, please check out my channel. Um, more unnecessary self-promotion, but I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I do have a channel. If you want to check it out, if you don't want to check it out, it's fine by me. But, uh, I'll put a link. Oh. Um. Also, check out the traffichub.co.uk. Um, it's a advertising site, and it's, uh, Oh, well, we're currently, um, I think we're being sponsored by them at the moment, but uh, check them out, because if you, if you have businesses that need advertising, uh, I think it's pay-per-click advertising, um, please check out the website, yeah, it would uh, really help our, help our channel. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Kennedy does say some funny things, I do prefer Castro and Nixon. I think they're the best in this map. Um, what? Oh, I should ask Supernat. He'll, he'll know the accent, but I'm not sure what accent it is that Kennedy has. What, what part of America is it from? I think it's... Oh, I really don't know. Some kind of accent. I'll ask Supernat. He knows a lot about nationalities and accents. Well, he thinks he does. He thinks he does. He thinks he does. Actually, he probably does. Okay, here. Oh no. A fail death. An absolute fail. Uh, as you can see, I could have got a lot further, but. Well, I, I stupidly just ran into those two zombies. Which is a bit of a shame, because I didn't really want to run into the zombies. I thought I could get past them, but. Obviously not. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Um, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you later.